I'm watching a Taylor Swift video on MySpace and I have WM Recorder open and WM Recorder finished recording the video a long time ago. The video is only three minutes and 48 seconds long. It's uh, not even halfway through and yet WM Recorder is already finished. And let me show you how quickly I can convert this file now that it's already recorded. So I'm going to stop MySpace, this, the Taylor Swift video. I'm going to preview it quickly, make sure this is in fact the video that I want. It has a little burn machine thing at the beginning, but I'll scroll through that. There's my video. So the first thing I want to do is rename it so that I know that it's um, actually the one I want. So I'm going to call it Taylor Swift. I know it's a song about a truck. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll call it Trek Video. And then um, click OK. And there it is. It's been renamed for me. Then I want to go and I want to convert it so that I can play this on my iPod. So I click on, uh, I could do two things. I can um, right click on it and click Convert Recordings. So it's brought up the WM Converter window. There is my file that I want to convert. I highlight it. I know I want to convert it to iPhone format, so I just click the little plus sign by Apple iPod, scroll down to where it says iPhone. Um, I click Convert. It then gives me a warning message saying, are you sure you want to continue to convert this highlighted file? And I do, so I say yes. Um, it then tells me that it's starting to encode it. And then um, it's starting to encode here. And then in the lower left hand corner of the WM Converter window tells me how long it's going to take to properly convert my Taylor Swift video to the iPod iPhone format that I want. So I'll pause my WM Recorder recording and I'll come back when it is finished converting. So my video is completed converting. It says complete under status. I can right click on it and play converted file. It brings up my VLC player. I click play. And there it is. That's all there is to it. It's already been converted. To find my file on my hard drive, I just click folders output, go to my converted videos, click OK, and there it brings up Taylor Swift truck video. So um, again, super easy to do, really um, simple and sort of intuitive interface and super powerful in terms of how quickly it can do things and how many things it can do. So it's a great recorder and converter. It works with tons of sites. To learn more about it, you can go to wmrecorder.com. The site's right here. And if you have any questions, just click on support. Okie doke. Enjoy.